How many times in your life have you seen someone that you thought was really attractive and then instead of running over to go and talk to them or do something about it, your immediate next thought was, I'm not good enough to go and approach them. I'm not sexy enough, I'm not confident enough, I'm not intelligent enough, they're too hot, they're too stylish, they're too good looking for me, they're too successful for me you immediately put them on a pedestal. Most of us don't just do this in our love lives, we do it everywhere else too. We worry about friends' opinions, we worry about our parents, we worry about people in the workplace, our boss, our colleagues, a potential client. We spend our lives putting other people on a pedestal. My question for today is why do we keep putting these people on a pedestal and what is it gonna take for us to finally feel like we're enough? We've been sold this idea that when we get enough stuff, then we'll feel worthy of somebody else. Get the promotion, get the million dollars, then you'll be enough, then you'll be on this person's level. And it's all a big lie, that's the lie. Nothing that we get in our lives is gonna make us feel like we're on the level with anybody else. That's not gonna solve the pedestal problem. Right now, we're gonna go to a place that is the epitome of putting other people on a pedestal. And it's gonna absolutely prove my point. Welcome, friends, to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. See, this is a place where we put stars on this incredible pedestal. We give them this kind of superhuman identity. And ironically, many of these stars have the greatest insecurities out of all of us. We would think that having achieved fame and wealth and adoration of the masses, that that would be enough to make them feel enough, and it's not. Robert Downey Jr., whose handprints are just there on that red square, said, I never met someone I was in awe of that having spent a couple of hours in close proximity to them, it wasn't totally smashed. We create this image of people in our heads that isn't real when we undervalue ourselves and overvalue them. Thank you, Bob. Have you ever seen that film, Pay It Forward? There's a moment in that film where Helen Hunt is talking to Kevin Spacey, who has big intimacy issues and is afraid to get close to her because of something going on in his own life, something from his past. And she says to him, I can't reject you, you're too quick for me. Meaning that he's rejected himself before she even has a chance. How many of us are deciding for other people whether they want us or not without going to find out for real? Because we don't value ourselves enough. We keep putting people on a pedestal. If you want to know the key to finally taking people off the pedestal, it means emotionally understanding that we are enough instead of logically understanding that point. Most people you can talk to about this, they know it logically, they don't get it emotionally, which is why they can talk about how great they are and then when it actually comes to the point of going and approaching somebody that they think is amazing or upholding a standard with a guy that they think is amazing, everything else fades away. They become nervous, they become scared, and they act in accordance. It's the one area we can't fix by our external conditions. It has to be done from inside. So look, if this is you, and you feel like no matter what anyone has said to you in your life, they could have told you the most beautiful things about yourself, but it never sunk in. It's always fallen on deaf ears and you still don't feel like you're enough. I have a process called the Matthew Hussey Retreat, many of you have heard of it, which I do three times a year. And the difference with this program is it actually gets people to understand emotionally that they're enough, to feel it instead of think it. It's a process, and when they've been through that, everything in their life changes. They're able to see someone they find attractive and walk over to that person and not fear the rejection in the same way as everybody else. They're not building the castle without, you know, in terms of who they know and what the other people think of them and their connections. They're building the castle from within. For those of you who haven't applied, uh, you should do it because it will be the greatest gift you ever give yourself. Go to MatthewHusseyRetreat.com to apply and uh, I'll see you there. For everyone else, I'll see you in next week's video. I can't wait guys. Thank you so much as always for watching.